Hey friends, welcome back to the last day of the travel program. Today we've got a spicy, yummy, delicious, wonderful core flow for you. So make some space for yourself and let's get moving. We're gonna start in a tabletop position, hands spread out under those shoulders, knees stacked under the hips. You can pat up anything you need to. And we're starting with our cat cow. Let's tip the pelvis forward, letting the belly drop, opening up through the chest, leading forward with the chin. And then we'll draw the belt back, tucking the tail, pushing away from the floor, letting the chin tuck, letting your crown drop. And we'll keep going with this. Go ahead and move in your own time. Exploring here. Taking stock of how things feel. Ooh. Keep moving with those deep breaths. It's not often that we get to slow down and just spend some time inside of our body. But if you're like me and <laughs> your brain won't shut up long enough, let me notice what's going on in your body when you're just sitting still. Feel every tiny little bit of movement. Feel the way that your vertebrae articulate. Feel the way you can press into the floor for support. Feel the way your joints shift and your muscles contract. And if that all sounds like a bunch of woo woo garbage, you can ignore me. That's okay. But if you can lean into that woo garbage a little bit, I think there's so much amazing information there. A little bit of magic. After your next cat spine, we can let this go. Bring this back to a stacked up tabletop, finding that sensation of plank just a little bit. And I'm going to face my wrists in towards each other, my fingertips out to the outside edges of my mat, back into our walrus arms. I'm going to keep my plank and I'm going to start to move in a circle, poking my hips back, poking the top of my head forward, shifting around side to side. We're getting a little bit of a hip stretch here. We're getting a little bit of a wrist stretch again, spreading out those fingers, grabbing into the floor. And when you're ready, we'll switch directions. We are going to be spending some time in plank today again. So giving those wrists a little time to prep. How are you doing today? <laughs> While we're hanging out here, I feel like I just want to chat with you. You can talk back to the screen. I'll be like Dora. Ooh. All right, my friends. Once you feel even on both sides, let's come back to that tabletop one more time. I'm going to ask you to face your fingertips forward again, thumbs towards each other. We're going to start to think about pressing away from the floor, getting a little, little bit of core brace going on. Thinking about top of the hips, bottom of the ribs, nice long spine. Now I'm going to lift my right hand off the floor, bring it to my shoulder. I'm pressing down with my left hand. I'm trying not to disturb that core brace I've got going on, I'm trying not to shake my tabletop. I'm gonna bring it back down, I'm gonna switch sides. Pressing in with the right, pulling it away with the left, trying to keep that solid table. Good, your pauses don't need to be as long as mine. If you'd just like to pick up these hands, practice that shift side to side. Maybe you start to feel your obliques work to absorb that shock a little bit, work to keep you from shifting. This is great prep for our bear. This is great to feel what this feels like inside of the core when we ask it to do some really active work without, you know, putting everything into our shoulders. Good, my friends. We're gonna spend about 10 more seconds here. Whatever you need to do to prep, even if you want to ignore me, do some wrist circles, do some breathing, Ooh, whatever you got going on. Here we go for three, two, one, and let it go. All right, we are taking a little step up today and we're going to cut our rest times in the interest of getting you, you know, in and out and on with your day. So we are going to go for 60 second sets today. 
these familiar moves might feel a little different. So as always, listen to yourself, take your breaks whenever you need to. It's just time to practice. We're starting with our bear plank to downward dog. So from my tabletop, I'm gonna tuck my toes, lift my knees, send my hips back up and away, and then rotate back down to the bear. Reminder, you can always touch your knees down in between if you don't wanna hover. All right, 60 seconds on, you ready? Here we go in three, in two, and one. Whoop, it would help if I turn the timer on. Good, you're going, amazing. Rocking back into the hips. Ooh, rocking forward into the shoulders. As you sit back to that downward dog, pressing the ground away from you, making one long line from the top of the head, out through the tailbone, soft in the knees, even as we drop those heels down and back. Good, we are halfway there, my friends. That's 30 seconds if you're counting. If this is feeling like no big deal, if this is feeling good and easy, see if you can smooth it out a little bit. We're getting deep into some shoulder mobility, some hip mobility here. Ooh, so let's focus on moving fluidly. If this already feels like, you know, pretty good. All right, we're here for five, four, three, two, one and let it rest. All right, we're going onto our back. We're gonna hit some dead bugs. I want you to think about stacking those knees directly over those hips when you get comfy. So instead of pulling the knees back to the chest, we're gonna slide them forward like we're in our tabletop on our back. I'm gonna start with that lockdown on my left side, left hand pressed into the top of the left knee. I'm reaching out long with my right arm and leg. Then I'm gonna exhale, pull everything Together, we're going for 60 seconds on one side, 60 seconds on the other side. That's it, it's gonna be brutal, but then it's gonna be over. Let's do this. In three, in two, in one. I'm reaching long, I'm pulling in. Ooh, you can probably already hear me quaking. If you'd like a little more, you can also pull your head up off the ground, but we're keeping that left knee, that braced knee, Again, perpendicular to the ground, not letting it creep in towards your heart. Good, my friends. Arm and leg don't need to get low. They only need to go out. We are halfway done with this first side. Resting the head on the ground if your neck needs the break. Driving knee towards elbow. Good, about 15 seconds left. Reaching out on the inhale, in on the exhale. Woo! Switching sides in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. I'm pressing right hand into right knee. We'll go in three, two, one. I'm stretching out long. I'm dragging it in. Stretching out long, dragging it in. Good. If the arm and leg are going and you're feeling good, focus on mushing your back pockets into the ground. <laughs> I'm thinking about dropping Ooh, my belt right into the mat, keeping that tension in my brace on the right side of the body. We are halfway done with this side. We are not repeating this, so take those tiny breaks whenever you need to. Good, moving slower is always a good option. <sighs> Stay patient, moving with the rhythm of your breath. We're here for about 10 more seconds. That's it. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Woo, let it go. Let's take a tiny break, maybe knees into chest, letting that rest. When you're ready, I'm gonna gently roll to the side and press myself up. We're going back to that bear plank, back to that tabletop. This is, I think, the most fun move. I know some of you are shaking your fists at me, but we're gonna be okay. So starting from our bear with the knees hovering or a tabletop with knees tapped down, we're going to step back to a plank. I'm going as wide as my mat. From here, from this extended plank, I'm gonna twist back with my right arm, reaching up to the ceiling, 
back with my left arm, reaching up to the ceiling. If you'd prefer, if that's feeling too much, you can step it back, step it in, and then twist for a little more mobility emphasis, a little less stress in that plank. We're here for 60 seconds. Pace yourself. That's all I'm going to say. All right, here we go, my friends. Tuck the boobs back in. In three, in two, in one. Let's do this. I'm stepping back. I'm twisting open. Bring it back. Twisting open. Bring it back. I'm stepping those feet in, hovering in my bear. I'm stepping back to the long plank. Twisting open to the center. And open to the center into the bear. Woo! Again. Again, don't be afraid to tap those knees down whenever you like. I challenged myself to keep them up today, but you've got lots of options here. You can come right back into the tabletop. Yeah, you got it. We are more than halfway through. You're doing great. Keep breathing. Maybe unlock your knees. Soften your collarbones. Oh, oh. nice. <sighs> 10 seconds left. Can anything about this be easy or fun? <laughs> now is the time. We're done in three, in two, in one. Gorgeous, let it go. All right, back down to our backs. We're flipping back and forth like pancakes. All right, we're going into those one-sided crunches, my friends. We are laying fully down on the ground. I've got my legs bent to 90. I'm going to reach overhead on my exhale. I'm bringing one knee towards my nose, reaching towards my toes, and then I'm gonna tap it back down. How far you come up off the ground, totally up to you. If you'd like, we can just move that knee, leave the head and neck where they are. If you'd like a little more, after we come up, when we are going back out, you can reach the leg long, let it hover rather than stepping it down to the ground, okay? You got options, feel free to combo those. Feel free to play around. You owe me nothing. You don't owe this 60 seconds anything other than to try your best. All right, here we go. 60 seconds on one side, 60 seconds on the other. It's so hard to talk when we're doing core. Let's do this in three, in two, in one. We reach, exhale. We reach long. Exhale in. Good. I'm curling up and off the ground. I'm keeping my shoulders broad. I'm reaching out past my toes. Good. If you're hovering that leg, sliding it out along a tabletop, try not to let it disturb your core. Or we bring that knee in and rest the foot back down. Good. We are halfway done with this one. Keep cruising. Working with the breath, planting into the floor for support. You got this. I'm going to breathe heavy right into the mic so you know how serious I am about those breaths. Good. We're done in five, four, switching sides in three, two, one. Here we go. Right into it. Reaching out, dragging in. Reaching out, dragging in, reaching out, dragging in. I know you're still fatigued from that first side. Stay patient with it. Follow the rhythm of your own breath. Remember, you've got that option to rest the head on the floor if that feels better here. I picked the exact wrong ponytail height for that today. Good, we are more than halfway through. Excellent, my friends. Out. And in. Good. Leg doesn't have to reach low. Just press it out and away from you like we're moving through water. We're here for 10 seconds left. Good. In five, four, three, two, one. And let it go. Awesome. We're going to do our last two moves like a nice little circuit. We're going for a walking floor bridge, picking one leg up at a time, and then we're going to drop the hips and we're going to go for a unicycle. It's like a bicycle crunch, but it's just in the legs. You can keep the head down and you can trade knees or maybe you prop up to forearms like so, pushing through water. 
you guessed it. All right, here we go. 30 seconds of each move and we will repeat this once. So two times through. Let's do this starting with that narrow floor bridge in three, two, one, gently lifting. Tap the foot off the ground and replace it. Other foot off and replace it. We are trying to resist that sway side to side. If you're okay with tactile cueing, maybe put your hands on top of your hips. See if they're wiggling around. Woo! Good. This doesn't have to be high. Just test yourself. We're here for three, two, one, and let it go. Let's go into that unicycle. I'm coming up to forearms in three, two, one. I drive the knee in and I switch. Good. Other knee and switch. Nice. Again, legs don't have to go long and low, just pressing out and away from you as you drive the other one in. Thinking about lifting off the floor just slightly. <sighs> Moving both legs together. Good, we're done in three. And two. And one. And let it go. I'm going back to the ground, back to that walking floor bridge. I'll give you a couple seconds to reset, and then we'll go right back in. Here we go in three. In two, in one, I'm lifting up, pressing into the floor for support. Soften your collarbones, soften your face. Legs can lift high, nice and slow. Testing this balance. Or you can just tap them off the ground. We are halfway done with this. Good. Plant into the floor. Back to that unicycle in five. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Hips come back down. I'm going to stay down on the floor this time. We'll go knees in in three, two, one. Let's do this. Knee to heart and switch. Knee to heart and switch. Maybe you aim those knees towards your armpits instead. Ooh, keeping the legs traveling on their own train tracks. Pressing the feet out through water. Good, about 10 seconds left. You got this last little bit of spice today. We're done in three, in two, in one, and let it go. Maybe you choose to bring these to chest, give yourself a little rock across the spine. Maybe plant your feet, feet apart, knees together, or vice versa, feet together, knees apart. If you've got a moment to rest, please stay. Relax a while. Otherwise, I'm coming up to say bye. Thanks for hanging out with me these past two weeks. I hope you enjoyed. If you are doing this on a vacation, I hope it's somewhere fabulous and I'm jealous and I'm happy I got to be there with you virtually. Thanks for your hard work. Thanks for spending time with me. Mwah! Good work, team.